partake of communion, we are lifted into his presence. Uh, and this is the Lord's table. It's open to all of his children. So you all, everyone, is welcome here. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for setting the table for us that we might come and commune with you. We thank you, Lord, for your body and your blood which you gave for us that we might be forgiven. Show your love for us. We thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of sins that we have. And we ask forgiveness for all wrongs we may have done. We thank you for the blessing we have of being able to come and bring before you the burdens of our heart, and we do that now. All the folks on our prayer list and those that we have mentioned, we come and bring before you as well as ourselves, and we lay our burdens at your feet. And Lord, we know that you hear our prayers, and even before we begin to pray, you have begun to answer. We stand on your word, we believe in your promises. And so, Lord, we ask that you would bring your healing and your peace and your joy and guidance and direction, your wisdom and strength, your providence, your protection, everything as it is needed, each in its time and place. And Lord, we entrust these things to your care. Lord, as we gather around your table, we ask that you would open our hearts to your presence and to one another. Help us to unite in you in our worship and in our service to you and the community surrounding us. Help us to reach out with love to everyone that we need. That through the love we have for one another and, and everyone else, that they may see the love you have for all of us. We ask that you would bless this communion that we're about to have and be a true communion in the body and blood of Christ Jesus as we are raised into your presence. And we ask your blessing upon it and upon our communion with you together. And this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. On the night in which our Lord was betrayed, we go ahead and get your bread out of the wall. Our Lord, after supper, took the bread, and he blessed it and broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. It. And he said, this is the cup, the new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, the Lord says, you remember me until I return again. Again, as we commune, help us to realize that it's not just us here, but our brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world who gather with us, who are gathered into your presence, who gather with those saints in glory who have already passed into your presence. But with that mighty throng, help us always to sing in our hearts, glory unto you. And Lord, we ask that you would help us to gather strength <coughs> in this communion together to go into the world and serve you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. 